Hi guys, so welcome to the Eva Knows YouTube channel. So if you don't know anything about me, my YouTube channel is all about my journey with building my online income streams and my online businesses and predominantly low maintenance and passive income streams because building up passive income for myself is what I'm massively passionate about. And over the last couple of weeks, I've really got excited about the idea of sharing with you guys each of the platforms that I use to help me bring in a full-time income from my digital product businesses and my passive income businesses. If you watch one of the last videos I created, I just introduced you to a program called Canva, which is the graphic design software that I really like to use. And I really fancied today talking to you guys about another online platform that I use and I absolutely love for helping me bring in low maintenance income. And this platform is Teachable. If you don't know what Teachable is, it is an online course selling platform really. So you can create an entire course on Teachable and you can sell that course, you can drive people in, you can make purchases, you can monitor your students as they go through the course. And I really wanted to introduce you to this awesome platform, especially if you are new to the idea of creating online courses, but it's something that you're really excited about and you think it's something that you definitely like to give a try. So in this video, I just wanted to give you an introduction to Teachable and then in the future videos that I'm going to be creating, I'm going to go into more and more depth hopefully in smaller videos and bite-sized chunked videos so that over the next couple of weeks I create a little playlist that literally shows you how I create an online course on Teachable and all of the bells and whistles that go into it and I just make it as easy and as bite-sized as possible. I was completely new to building online courses and creating an online course when I decided to go with Teachable and they just make it so easy to create a course so if you haven't tried them out yet I've got a link link below to a 14 day free trial and you can literally click on it, give it a go, have a look, have a play for yourself. So I thought I would start, this was what I managed to create using Teachable alone and using my one course and as you can see I've made over 81,000 worth of sales and 74,000 worth of earnings. So that's literally what comes to me. Truly, I was a complete newbie when I started with Teachable. I had no idea what I was doing. So I'm really proud and pleased with that. And I will also say, with a platform like Teachable, it's really not that hard to create your course and start bringing in income. I'm actually also creating these videos over the next couple of weeks in honor of the fact that I'm actually bringing out my next course, which has been like long overdue, but I'm like, super excited to bring it out, which is a course showing you exactly step by step how I've built my online course and how exactly I sell my online course. Because one of the awesome things that I love about online courses is that you can make them relatively passive as well. So I have made 74,000 but I have not it has not certainly not felt like I've done $74,000 worth of work at all. I also run other online businesses that I'm able to do alongside this as well. So this is technically just a side hustle. And then also kind of just wanted to show you this page, which is your dashboard. So when you actually create your own Teachable account, then you are given your own dashboard. And from here, you can monitor absolutely everything. The revenue you bring in, the earnings, your core sales, new signups, active students, absolutely everything. And I just kind of wanted to give you an idea of over the time, this was about when I started my course, um, but over the time, how much I have made. And I also wanted to just give you an indication of two different ways that you can sell a course and kind of what that looks like on the Teachable dashboard. And again, I'm gonna be going into so much more depth about this in my actual course that's coming up. So if you are interested in grabbing that course as soon as it comes out, then I have actually got a link to the waiting list for it underneath, which also gives you a discount for when that course comes out. So yeah, I always like to do that if you know anything about um, my course. If people are kind enough to let me know they're interested in the course by joining the waiting list, then I'm ha super happy to give them a discount as they're the first people that will get the course when it comes out. The example I just wanted to show you here is a difference between launching a course, which this is what you can see here. So when you see these spikes and you're seeing like sales just suddenly zoom up, this is because this is during a launching method. So I've basically sold the course for a couple of days at a time, usually about five days I'll have the course on sale for. Then after those five days are over, I'll then close the course so that no one else is able to get access to it apart from the people who signed up and then I will leave it a number of months before I decide to open it again. And that's what you can see here with these launches and this income that's just rising as I've continued to grow interest for the course. And then over here, 
here you can see that all of a sudden you're getting like constant sales and spikes and things like that and this is because you're then seeing over here daily sales that I've made and this is because a number of months ago I decided to turn this course evergreen so that it was always available for people to buy and it's a slightly different method that I again talk about a lot more in the course and um, where I'm basically getting daily sales for my course and I'm bringing in a daily amount of income instead of it being every couple of months and it's just because I, I love this method I love both of them really I love launching and I love the evergreen method that I have and um, which means that basically I'm making sales every single day instead of every couple of months so again I hate to keep saying it but I am going to be going into a lot more depth on my actual course when it comes to the different types of sales methods that I like to do. Um, and I'm also gonna be talking a little bit more about it in future videos on the YouTube channel that I'm gonna put all together in a playlist as like a little mini course really, just to introduce you to Teachable. But I just wanted to show you the power of what Teachable can do. And again, I wanna reiterate, I am just a normal woman. I do not have tons of experience in sales and a whole team behind me, it is just me. Um, and I've just had so much fun with learning how to create income. So in this section, I just wanted to introduce you to where you'll be creating your courses on Teachable. So in the product section, you'll have this button here, which is just like a plus sign. And this gives you the option to create another course. And you can choose, for example, what product do you want to create? And you have courses and now Teachable has been absolutely awesome. And they've introduced coaching as well. So you can choose to do coaching if you want to, but you literally would just click on course, click next. And it will take you to the section to start filling out the information about your course, like your course title, course subtitle, and all the things that I'm gonna be showing you in a future video when I'm gonna start introducing you to exactly how I create an online course. And again, I have one awesome paid course that I absolutely love and I love all the students I have in there. I'm coming up to 500 students in there, which is amazing. Um, but then I also have created a number of free courses as well, um, which I absolutely love. And again, I'll be going into a lot more detail about why I love free courses and exactly how you can use those to help you drive traffic to your paid course or courses if you want to go on and make more as well. The final thing that I wanted to show you in just this introduction video to Teachable and to the, the mini series that I'm going to be creating is I just wanted to show you what the back end of a course looks like. I want to show you how unoverwhelming it is and how easy it is to create and again I'm going to go into more videos about this in the future but this is just showing you the back end of one of my courses and you can see here it's literally made up of two things which are sections which this whole everything you see this white box here for example is a section and then in each section you create create your little lectures, which are basically just your pages inside of your course. So for example, here I have my welcome, let's get motivated section. And then inside that I can add, just by adding a new lecture, I can add another page that I can then change the name of and then I can go into that page and I can start creating, for example, video content in there for my students and text in there for my students and I can add resources and anything I want that again, I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to do in the future. Then you can easily build up your course with sections and your lectures that you have inside those sections. And then you can also use a preview button to easily see what your student sees on the other side. So this is what my student actually sees on the other side. When my student signs into my course, they will see this whole section and they will easily be able to click on the start button. And then just in here, I've created a video, which again, I'll show you how easy that is to do. And then just my written content in there as well. But again, I just wanted to show you the back end of Teachable where you will be creating your course. And again, I'm gonna be creating videos to help you just step-by-step -step build your own course in Teachable. I think it's an absolutely awesome platform and I just wanted to start by introducing you to it. And then in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to properly set up your Teachable account, but also gonna get started in showing you how to really easily create an online course with Teachable itself. So I hope that this video helps you and again definitely go check out the description box below because I've got all the information down there
there, including the waiting list to my upcoming course, showing you how to create an online course and actually how to fully sell an online course. And also um, I'll have down there the 14 day free trial of Teachable. So if you wanna check it out, that's a great way to do that. And I'll see you in the next video where we'll actually be going further into Teachable and I'll be showing you how to get started with creating an online course. Bye. Thank you.